What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G-Maya's World of EA Sports. In the final weeks of Team of the Week, they just went completely nuts with the Dallas Cowboys. So you're going to have a limited deck, Prescott. You're going to also have that Michael Gallup, um, you know, Player of the Week. So these are the final weeks, guys. So a couple of things I want to make sure that everybody understands. Make sure that you do these, couple, do these things that I'm going to uh, let you guys know about. Again, just a reminder. You're going to have some more challenges that you have to play. Play your challenges, get your collectibles, and then we just wait for the final set where we'll get a free Team of the Year player. All right, guys, just remember, play these final challenges that are available uh, right now after they've just done this, right? So look, you have this guy right here, Michael Gallup. He's 6'1". He's going to get, I believe, to a 99 speed with the Dallas Cowboys theme team, but he's 6'1", dude. Like, I can't... This is the problem, bro. Low-key, Harold Carmichael, he gets like what, like a 95 speed or something like that. I forgot exactly what he's at with the chems. But even with that, he's going to still not be able to jump and catch the ball. So you got some pros, you got some cons with this, right? Here's the pros, right? He's a deep threat. So like I just said, so everything is kind of weird. He gets, what is it, like uh, route, route tech is three. But he gets like the deep out, the deep ends relatively, you know, cheap at one AP. So for you Dallas Cowboy theme teams, you're probably going to have some fun with that. Um, but for me, I'm always looking to make sure that my receivers have some height and speed, which is why I love me some Randy Moss. But even with Randy Moss, sometimes they don't make him jump. The game is a lot, you know, it's, it's very, very buggy. So you're going to have some issues with it. But I think the Dallas Cowboys got a, like huge W's, man. Huge W's with this right here, man. You guys, like your team right now, you should have a suitable amount on offense and defense. I think this kind of rounds out your theme team. So if you're a Dallas Cowboy theme team, let me know, uh, you know, about your lineup now, um, you know, with these two new players being added. So you got Michael Gallup, you got Santana Moss as the offensive hero. All right, so Washington theme teams, you know, what was he on the Jets, I think, too? I think he was on the Jets. It don't really matter. This dude's like a 5'9 guy. I can't, you know what I'm saying, bro? But wait a minute. I might be able to, I, I don't like uh, that Ruggs guy on my Raiders theme team. I have to get rid of him. He sucks and he can't catch the ball. So we might need a little tiny guy like this guy to kind of run around. I don't know. You got Luke Keekley. Very, very happy to see him back in the game. I do want to point out, though, um, if he gets Lurker, you can user him the way I'm using Sam Mills now. Lurker is monstrous for the middle linebackers, bro. But if you don't have Lurker, they just don't do anything. And now I'm starting to understand a couple things with EA, right? So pretty much this is what goes on. For those of you guys that are wondering what's been going on with the game, it's been really, really bad over the last three or four years gameplay-wise. Muck content has been on point. Uh, listen, it's very, very difficult because when you assess this game, you have to assess it in two parts or three if you're a franchise player because they're putting you guys through hell too. But I'm a Mutt player, right? So I look at the progress that Mutt has, you know, has gone through and where they are now. And I love what they've done as far as the concept of the way that we do things in Mutt. It's very, very exciting. The gameplay though, the gameplay team is responsible for a lot of things, uh, not all good. But I'm gonna tell you this right now, right? Look, this guy, if he can get Lurker, you can utilize him. Okay, so you would have to spend that whatever amount of AP to make him usable. Other than that, if you put him in zone coverage, I just want to make sure that I'm very, very clear because I've been getting a lot of feedback about Luke Keekley and everybody's happy, but he will make you rage and it's not his fault. The development team has taken away the ability for the linebackers to react. So yes, I will tell you, probably statistically, he's going to have very, very good numbers and we all love us some Luke Keekley. But I don't believe that he is going to be what you think he is unless he can get Lurker and you put that on him as an ability. Other than that, middle linebackers are useless. I just wanted to make sure I get that out so that everybody understands. Because now with Sam Mills, I can use him because he has Lurker. Without Lurker, he's a trash can regardless of him being the Mutt Master. All right? So for you Panther fans out there, enjoy it. But just make sure you guys know that's the only way he's going to be able to operate. So that's week 16. All right? Go to week 17, we got Jonathan Taylor. Now, this guy, in my opinion, he deserves it. Absolutely, 100%. I think that the Colts were a lot better than many of us thought that they would be. And this guy was pretty good. So I'm not mad about that. But Jamal Charles, a lot of us were waiting for this guy. I tweeted it out. I put it on Facebook, Instagram, all at Gmaya's World. I was letting you guys know. We've been waiting for this guy to get back in mutt for a while. All right? This, this is the issue, though. I need one of you guys to help me out. Can you guys see if he can spin you know what i'm saying like can, can he spin or like the, the bigger thing about it is like they nerfed the um like barry sanders has very high spin but he can't spin 
You know, it's like weird. Reggie Bush, Bo Jackson, I believe um, McCaffrey. Those three can spin, but McCaffrey's too slow for me, so I can't use him. But I want to know if this guy can spin. Because if he can spin, I might take a look at him and we'll you know, go ahead and dabble with it. All right, Sean Ellis. It looked like he just ripped a mean fart and he wants everybody to know about it based on his facial expressions. Do I think he's a good card in this game? No, but he's going to help the Jets out a lot. All right, he's going to definitely help the Jets out. And, um, you know, they're going to still suck, but he'll help the Jets team out. All right, now we're going to go take a look at limited Dak Prescott. Because like I said, EA went like just totally Dallas Cowboys crazy. And they want to let the Dallas Cowboys know that they love them. So they went out there and they did all this. So let's go take a look at what's going on with this situation here. And then we'll go from there. So uh, what do we got now? What do we got? Okay, so why am I in the store? I don't know because I'm not buying anything. So why would I be in the store, guys? And why didn't you stop me from going in there? It's your fault. So let's go ahead and jump into the auction house. Take a look at the limited Dak Prescott and see what's going on with EA Sports. All right, now look, remember, Dak Prescott is an improviser. And I think that that's one of the most useless um, archetypes of the year. I don't like it. I don't like the way you have to wait to get a lot of the abilities um, that we regularly use. Uh, even though they did nerf Gunslinger, um, you know, pretty much I'm at the point right now where I'm just really frustrated with the game overall. And uh, I'm just trying to find new ways to just make my opponent just not want to play the game anymore. Like, that's where I'm at right now. Like, seriously, guys, like, I don't I don't have any enjoyment with the game. It absolutely just makes me rage uncontrollably. So let's take a look at Dak Prescott, all right? They went completely crazy. You, like I said, you got Gallup, you got Dak Prescott. Now, just remember this, right? He's usable. If you look at his numbers, this is a very, very usable card. I'm not saying that you have to keep the Dallas Cowboys as your team. What I'm telling you is, the, like it's you like this is this is good stuff this is a really really good systematical way to approach the game that's all i'm saying all right however you want to deal with it that's on you do you want to go after Dak prescott i i think based on these numbers because remember he's going to get to a 99 throw power regardless right he'll go to 95 plus the four with play fake or whatever go deep whatever you want to do so this card is playable i just don't know exactly what abilities he gets i could go check other cards but i really don't like improvisers so i don't i don't really care for it i know he can't get hot route master right now i don't think i'm just guessing though but i don't think he can um you do get a little bit more of an upgrade if you have his power up though so that might be beneficial to some of you guys that are dallas cowboy fans but the card is i just i just want to make sure because you guys be like yo bro you be saying that these cards suck i tell you a card sucks because i know the way the game works and i understand it but you see those 90s across the board? He can be a very, very usable card. Now, you guys got to let me know also, does he get Gunslinger? Because if he gets Gunslinger with these numbers, he's good to go. Just so everybody knows. Like, usually, Dak Prescott's cards have been trash. You can rock with this. So, I, I you know, I, I'm looking at it like, yo, you know what? The Dallas Cowboy theme team might be kind of OP. You got Dion, Dion, you got Gallup now. That's 299 speed receivers. Um, you could play around if you wanted to bring Carmichael in at a 95 speed and he's like 6'8 just to like You know cause now I, I wouldn't do that. No, because he would mess up my offense But then I would have nobody to Moss with I could bring Moss back though, right? I don't know we could take a look because of Dallas, but then defensively What are we doing defensively Byron Jones Deion Sanders who else we got Diggs that other corner? Um, I don't know. I don't like it, bro. They got Cliff Harris. No, no, I ain't going Dallas But look, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud you Dallas Cowboy theme team savages, you guys might have something going here. It's possible. But I just wanted to make sure everybody thoroughly understood. Yes, Dak Prescott is an average quarterback in real life. Right now, he's probably a monster. Because those 90s, they mean stuff. Um, now, as far as Gunslinger goes, I know you guys heard what I said about it prior, um, as far as it being nerfed. The ball does not get out as fast as, as fast as it once did. I don't know what happened with it. We had people complaining about it. Obviously, you guys know who that person is, and everything has gone downhill from there. So it, it's a situation now where I want to rebuild certain aspects to the team, but we're going to have to take a look at what's available. I don't think I'm leaving the Raiders. I think the Raiders give me the best chance with what I have there to do whatever I want. Uh, also, we're waiting for other players to come out where we could still be successful with it. So, you know, there's some stuff that we got working here, and um, we're going to continue to take a look at it. But that's all the stuff of Team of the Week. I will go ahead and um, show you guys that I will be taking on these challenges to get my final Team of the Week collectibles because I want my free player, and I'm not trying to hear it from EA Sports. Why is it only one, though? 
was hold up wait a minute 15 what did they give us last wasn't it 14 and 15 why is this only one dude hold on what oh we get times two they're giving us times two okay so we got to play this and we get two all right you see it it says times two all right we got two collectibles all right cool um all right so that i think that that's what that that, that times two means i better be getting two because they better not be trying to jit me out dude all right what do we get in this last thing so we get uh what why is there a 68 there but it's stopping right there not team of the week base player not team of the week player of the week how do you get that tier six one what's going on with this ea ea ea, EA what you talking over here ea what you talking like i don't know what's going yeah something's kind of weird dude we're gonna figure it out though ea is not gonna get the best of us i know we did the 14 and 15 last week now it's only one and it says times two so i'm gonna get all over that i'll figure it out i'll let you guys know if you guys are having issues as far as getting your um your 50 players from weeks one through seven you have to contact help.ea.com and they will fix that problem for you unfortunately the ea the ea team the mutt team can't do anything right now but you should be able to get those cards gifted to your account if you go through um you know the uh, 50 soul uh, challenges because i've been getting a lot of feedback on that and i looked into it for you guys just contact at ea help on twitter or file a claim at help.ea.com and you will be given that team um that uh that stack player from weeks one through seven from those of you guys that are asking about it that you've been getting the wrong card you will get the right card you just have to file a claim or contact them on twitter at you know at ea help hopefully this has been informative thank you guys and girls so much for watching cowboy fans let me know are you happy or sad leave it in the comments until next time one love y'all